five and or the five and zero with two thousand one. I think you're one of the only players that was actually born around that time. What kind of experience does, does that say about like, that staying part of the team? Yes, sir. I think it's you know all the glory goes to the man above. Um, you know, none of this would be possible without him. Um, it's a it's a great feeling for sure. And, um, you know, that's the goal. Um, that we that we have after every week, just trying to be one and all. And um, you know, we did a good job against a really good team um, with Indiana, and you know, we're gonna enjoy this for 24 hours. Another strong, another strong start. You guys like to say, take what the defense gives you. It's nice to be able to take three touchdowns in the first half. What was the key to the strong start? Yes, sir. I think a lot had to do with the, the coaches, you know, and their preparation and um, getting us right. You know, getting trying to play quick. And um, I think it was an awesome job of everyone on uh, offense and defense and special teams just doing their job and taking one play at a time and um, executing at a high level. Something about how Ty was able to get open early on, was there something that he did, something that worked out for you guys there? Um, yeah, I mean, you guys know we have a lot of playmakers um, out there on the field. And uh, I guess, you know, whoever has the hot hand and um, it's just everyone's just doing their job and going through reads and stuff like that. And, you know, if ties the read then you know that's that's who's getting the ball or if it's Jones or KP whoever it is um, I think you know they do a good job of getting open and um, making a play when the opportunity is there. So Leo, Ty, Ty said that when he first got recruited here by Lots, Lots kind of outlined the vision of we're going to start winning and then we're going to win more and we're going to progress. Did, did you have a similar conversation with Lots when you first were getting recruited here and just how does it feel to see the progression to be 5-0 for the first time in two decades? Yes, sir. Um, Locks, it was just the vision of um, us coming in and trying to turn the program around. Um, you know, Locks is a DMV guy. And for me, it wasn't, you know, I, I already, you know, had a good feeling about us winning games and stuff like that. But it's more so the family environment that he uh, has with the team and stuff like that. And just growing better, of course, as a football player, but more as a person. That's what really, you know, drew me to come here to uh, Maryland. To and for, for you, um, just Having it, it's like it seems like now every week there's a new record we're hearing about. I don't even remember what was it, 9,000 yards today. I think first to, to get to that passing. Um, just for you to constantly be having these accolades every week, uh, how, how special is it, and how much is it exciting, but also maybe focusing on the ultimate goal of what you guys want to do going forward. Yes, sir. I think um, you know all of those things are blessings. Honestly, it's a testament to the O line blocking, the receivers catching the ball, everyone doing their job. And um, I think for me, the biggest thing is just focusing on uh, the two things that Coach always talked about, been harping about this whole week, and that's winning the football game and playing to the standard. And I think if we continue to do that, um, you know, we'll continue to make history. You know, being five and zero. Uh, last week, we was our first time winning in East Lansing in a long time, and it's just things like that. Um, and that's just what comes with it when you focus on your um, on your job and everyone playing to the standard. Can you talk about your ability to spin away from the rush? It almost looked like you set up a blitzing safety to spin away. Uh, How did you figure that out? Uh, really, I think it's uh, something I work um, on the off season with my dad and my brother. Um, we also work on it with uh, Coach Gaddis and with Kyle Edwards and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah. I think it was uh, sending more than we can handle. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, for that, it's just a reaction drill that you know we work on every day in Indy, and um, just taking the drill work to the field. Right. You can, and talking about your brother, but you what your brother did last week in the first half you had, you guys are really throwing the ball. Thank you. Did did you go to the game in Miami? No, I, I don't really get to make uh, his games unless we have a bye week or they play the Ravens or the Commanders or something. Like that, so. <laughs> so, Leo, Coach Locks talked a lot. You mentioned this week about playing to the standard. Seemingly more so this week than uh, earlier in the season, and you guys came out and, and looked the part today. Was there something, just an energy or something different about practice this week that you guys just hammered home? We got to do this for four quarters in this conference, and we got to do it today. Yes, sir. Um, we know the games leading up to this, you know, is either a slow start and a good finish, or um, a good start and a bad finish. And um, we know going into Big Ten play, you know, we can't have games like that. And um, Coach Gaddis and Coach Locks, you know. Tr challenged us this week to have, you know, this is going to be the hardest week and, you know, from this point on, it's always going to be a hard week in practice and um, just trying to focus on um, our jobs and the little details and stuff like that and not scoreboard watching and 
really just trying to dominate the, the football game. So.